Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium Sea series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. I'm going to be doing a Hobonichi Weeks plan with me this week. So I'm going to be using this kit. This is from Graceful Muse Papery. Um, this is one of her Hobonichi size kits. I don't know if she still does these. I actually bought this I think last year maybe um, and I just have kept it for this long but I am feeling really tired of winter time and I would really like to start using some of my spring kits. So I'm going to use this one earlier. This one is called Oh Hello Spring. So I'm hoping that if it's springtime here in my planner that maybe the weather will actually uh, start to warm up a little bit and we can actually get some sunshine. So I'm going to be using this kit for this week and we are planning the week of March 7th to the 13th. I do have a fairly busy week this week so I'm going to quickly get started. Um, first, what I like to do with my Hobonichi Weeks is actually extend the line here for the whole width of the planner. So I'm just going to make the line across and I'm just using the Uni Jetstream pen that came with my planner. And I got a lot of questions last time on my cover. Since I didn't mention it then, I thought that I would mention it once again here. The cover that I am using is from Oristel. It is the Sicily cover made for the Hobonichi Weeks. I have it in two colors. This one right here, the gray, is the Anchorage Alaska. And then I do have the Cherry Blossom, which is more of like a blush pink color. And I will probably move into that later on in the springtime. But I will leave a link to Oristel's website if you guys are curious about it. I'm not sure if she has any more in stock because I know that she was doing like a sale on them. So the numbers that I'm going to be using are from Aribea Shop. I do have a referral code. So if you guys are interested, then um, you guys can use that code. It is AnnaJoline10. So I'm just going to add the dates in. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a crazy, crazy month so far. I have lots to prepare for my new book release. And so for these next two weeks, I imagine that I'm going to be very busy as I prepare for my new book that is coming out. But I'm really excited about One and Only. I can't wait for you guys to read it. Since I have a lot of things to do, I am going to add these heart checklists. So I kind of like to section up my Hobonichi Weeks. The first section here, this kind of column, is going to have all my important dates. So anything that is scheduled, things like appointments or work events, paydays, things like that will all go there. And then this section here I have saved as a little to-do list. And then here will be my highlight of the day. And then I do a little bit of micro journaling here so that if I ever fall behind in my Hobonichi A6 journal, my daily journal, then I can easily catch up. I love the florals of this kit. It's what drew me to this kit. And so I definitely want to add the bottom washi here. I just think that the florals are so sweet. And I'm really, really excited for the spring. I'm more of a summer person, so once spring rolls around, it just means that my favorite season is right around the corner. So I'm really eager for that to happen. By the way, this little clip here is from Lovely Mine. I just think it's so adorable. I like to use these acrylic clips to hold my pages down so that they don't get away from me. So I have just put the bottom washi there. I am gonna add this tracker. This one has two trackers. I'm actually gonna add it just here at the bottom. I do want to track self-care as well as designing in my shop. I want to make sure that I design at least three times a week so that I have new releases. And then I'm going to grab my weekend banner. I'm just going to add that here as well. 
just like that. Okay, so she gives you a couple of these boxes. So some of them have the design on them and then some of them are a little bit blanked out so you can write on top of them, which is great for me because I have quite a lot going on. So I'm going to start on this section here first with all the events that I have going on. I'm just going to zoom in so that we can get a little bit of a closer look. All right, so I do have some work events that are pretty important that I don't want to forget. So I'm going to mark those down here. Um, I do have a sale on a couple of my books. So Origin and Close to You are going to be on sale on Amazon. So you can find them there for a discounted price for this week only. I will leave a link to my books down below if you guys are curious. So I have that happening this week. I also have a couple of renewals to do. So I think I will actually put those on the boxes as well. So my first one is on the Friday. So let's add that. And then my second one is on Saturday. So let me just write those in. So those are my most important events. And then I do want to start to fill up this section here, which is my to-dos. So on Monday, I do want to work on my book that I'm currently writing. So that is going to be the first thing that I do on Monday. And then I also want to finalize One and Only, which is the book that is coming out at the end of this month. So I just want to make sure that Everything is ready to go. So those are the two most pressing things that I need to complete for that day. On Tuesday, I have this event to do. So I'm gonna do some promo for it. I need to do a blog post as well as a newsletter. Can't forget that. And then also I want to make sure that I write. I typically write Monday to Friday. Some days I will only write four days a week. It just kind of depends because I do have to work on releases for my shop. So I've been trying to prioritize that a lot, but I do also want to make sure that I am writing every single day. It's just kind of like a habit for me now. I've been writing every day for many years, so it's kind of hard for me to stop that now. So I'm just going to write down that I am going to be writing every single day this week. Um, from Monday to Friday and then also on Thursday here I typically go to visit my mom so I'm just going to write that down that will take me the whole morning um, and then also on Friday I do want to start designing a new kit so I'm just going to mark that down and I'm also going to mark down that I'm going to design on Sunday as well um, on Saturday I want to film a memory plan with me so i'll probably do that maybe sometime in the morning and then i also want to edit it so this is what i have left of the kit so far just a few flags one of the boxes i have a couple more of these smaller boxes here one of the checklists and then some of these dots so i can still definitely use this kit for another week and then i even have this extra freebie which has the extra boxes there too but i think that is everything that i want to fill in for this spread it's a very minimal spread and i use this planner on the go with me so as the day kind of progresses i will be filling this out and this will get filled out towards the end of the day so I'll kind of show you an example of what it looks like kind of filled in. This is what it looks like. I will use some of these smaller icons to kind of help me um, distinguish things a little bit. But yeah, it's a lot of writing. I don't use as many stickers as some other people, but I just find it very, very helpful. But I think that is everything that I want to do for this Plan With Me video. I hope you guys enjoy this really quick one. If you guys have any questions, then you can leave them down below. And I do have these printables from my shop that fit the Hobonichi size. So if you guys are interested in these extra grid pages or these trackers from my shop, feel free to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. But that is my Plan With Me for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!